Hi everyone, today we're talking about some stock market portfolio changes I might make to my stock portfolio in 2020. Before we get onto the video guys, if you could give the video a like, that would be absolutely amazing. I have set up a Patreons uh, link down below in the description just to help the channel out. All funds that are put through Patreons will go to improving the channel and getting new lighting, new uh, camera, uh, new microphones. So uh, everything that's put on there will get invested back into the channel just to help it grow for 2020. And that's kind of like my goal going forward. But we'll get stuck into the video today, which I'm talking about some changes I might make to my stock portfolio in 2020. Now this video today is kind of me going to you guys and asking for your opinion, whereas normally I'm like uh, talking about something and then taking my opinion on it. Today I'm kind of like wanting to get your feedback on my portfolio. So uh, make sure you put down your comments uh, down below so I can check them out. But I'm going to go through my portfolio. I'm going to go through the current gain uh, for this year that I've got on a couple of my stocks. And I want you to say, say what you think I should do with them stocks. If you think I should sell them, um, just hold the shares, maybe buy some more of them. Um, I'm going to go through them myself and I'm going to talk about some changes I'm thinking of doing. But like I said today, guys, it's all about you guys telling me what you think about my portfolio. And the reason why I'm doing this video as well is that I'm kind of thinking about buying some more stocks. And I have this year got quite a few stocks in my portfolio so i'm a little bit like I'm, I'm a little bit stock heavy and you know trying to manage this many companies is quite difficult and managing all the earnings reports and news so i want to kind of shrink it down a little bit and as well as that i'll probably be buying a couple more new stocks so it probably could expand a little bit more so that's kind of the main reason is i want to kind of shorten it down so i'm not managing so many stocks and also take a little bit of profit as well so the first one's alibaba which i'm up 15 percent and I'll be honest with you, this one, I've got no plans to really do anything with Alibaba. My second stock is Align Technology, which I'm up 21%, which is quite healthy, really. To be fair, I was kind of looking for more of a 40 to 50% return on Align Technology. So I am kind of like wanting to get a little bit of a higher return on it. Um, at the same time, it's a company which um, I really kind of expected to hold for a year. And I haven't held it for a year yet, but it's kind of like six months in, I think I've, hold, I've held the line technology now. So line's pretty much one that I want to sell somewhere in at some point in 2020. Um, so that's kind of a plan with the line, really. I don't want to hold it. Um, I don't want to be holding it into the end of next year, basically. Um, Ultra is my next one, which I'm up 12%. I kind of wanted to buy a bigger position in Ultra. At the moment, at 12%, I'm happy to hold that, and I've got a nice dividend yield as well. CBRE Group is a stock that I was kind of expecting a 30% return on. Um, it's just really a solid company, to be honest with you. And CBRE Group, I've got about 20% return on right now. So I'm kind of thinking 30. I've held it for probably about nearly a year-ish. Um, so that one, I'm kind of like on the lines of probably selling at some point. Um, but at the same time, like I keep swinging it because I look and I think it's a fantastic company that's not exactly overvalued at the moment. So that what is keeps putting me off. Um, so I'm kind of like maybe hold it for a bit longer. Um, Carnival, um, I'm down 8%. So obviously I'm not going to sell a stock that I'm down 8% on. As well as that, it's actually got quite a decent dividend yield as well. Dropbox, you know, another a newish position. Um, up 2%. Uh, it's a stock that I pretty much don't want to sell for like another two years at least. So that's kind of not one that I want to touch. Facebook, 23%. Like I say, I think Facebook is massively still undervalued right now. So uh, I won't sell Facebook. If anything, I'll be buying more Facebook. JD.com, I'm up 68%. Now, obviously, this year, I've sold off a third of my position in JD.com. I'm kind of like now thinking, maybe do I sell a little bit more? Um, maybe sell... Um, I don't know, really. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking maybe... 20% of my JD position, I might sell 20% off of it and um, just release some profit in there. Every time I look at it though, I'm just like, it's a company that's doing really well. And then I'm like, oh, I'm up so much. And the potential for me to go buy another Chinese stock, you know, I'm looking at maybe 10 cent or uh, Momo is one that I'm kind of looking at, you know, JD.com. I'm like, maybe it's time to release a couple more shares in that and take a bit more of that profit. So JD one is that I'm one that I'm considering. Uber, I'm down 2%, but Uber's a newest position that I kind of see myself holding for probably another two years at least. Visa, I'm up 15%. Um, I was up quite a bit on Visa, but I've but I my position, I wanted to extend it, so I've kind of averaged in at a higher price, so that's why it's actually quite low. Um, but some of my shares like are up more like 30%, but 
I don't, Visa is one of the strongest companies for me um, out there to buy. So I, I, you know, for me, Visa isn't one. Uh, Walgreens, um, ju it's just totally flat. So um, I'm not going to sell that one at the moment. iRobot's up 10%. It's another company that I'd like to buy more of because I see that going up 40 to 50%. Um, that'll be interesting next year, depending on what happens on the China trade war. And I've just totally noticed, but <laughs> my biggest position in the stock market portfolio isn't even on here. Um, it's Microsoft, so I don't know how I've managed to miss it, but uh, Microsoft, um, yeah, that's just, for me, is my favourite position on the stock market that I own. And even though I'm up like 50% or something on them shares, um, with quite a variety of prices that I've bought in at, um, I have no plans really to sell Microsoft either. So um, I'm also going to put it right there that I also forgot, as well as Microsoft, to put on Tesla. And Tesla shares, I'm up about 65% right now. And for me, I don't really have too many plans to sell Tesla, but I'm going to make a full video about Tesla and the new price it's at at the moment in a little bit. So um, at the moment, I'm going to leave the Tesla shares as well. Those are kind of like the, the stocks at the moment that I own. Like I say, um, there's really these three that I'm considering, but I'm kind of like making this video for you guys to feedback on what you think of this stock portfolio and what you think I should do. Um, so any kind of feedback will be you know appreciated. Um, and I thought I'd share that with you and some of the gains as well because we've been towards the end of the year and, and everything like that. So guys, um, if you could give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, remember put down in the comments below what you think and any stocks I should sell, any changes you would make. Um, that's just what I'm kind of looking for in this video. But uh, thank you for that and I'll see you on the next video.